Malcolm Reeves with us. Good day to you, William. Um, and Darren's still here, but I'll ha quickly, I'll get uh, Nigel on the phone. Nigel, how are you? How are you doing, mate? Well, how are you? Not too too, mate. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye. Uh, cricket people. There you go, listening in there. Now, William Reed, people will know you from uh, Mary Chain, and uh, now you've... Your new project, Lazy, uh, came. Yeah. So that's pretty much you, though, yeah? Yeah. So, um, now you've uh, brought out... Is this album out yet, from Begin? Yeah, it was uh, about three weeks ago. Right. Yeah. And is it, is it going well? Has it been reviewed, or do you bother it's, with that? I don't bother with it too much, but, yeah, it's been reviewed a few places. And has it been positive? Some of them have been good, and... I don't know, but 30% of them are good, the rest are kind of pretty stinking. Do you care, though? Um, I don't care too much, but if it, you know, like, it can affect the sales of your records. Sure, yeah. Because you know? if, if enough people say a records, you know, like, a lot of people, like, I personally don't believe reviews when I read them. Sure. I always want to hear the record first, but... A lot of people believe them, you know, it puts them up. No, I agree, actually. I think it's a terrible uh, situation when that yeah. happens, especially when uh, when you're doing independent stuff and, you know, you're not going to get anywhere to play it on the radio or television. People just read a review. But but even when uh, when the Mary Chain started off, like, it wasn't plain sailing. The critics weren't behind you at the start either, um, were they? No, they weren't. No, really, no. Because I, I feel I feel like they've always been kind of yeah. nasty. Because you know? I remember, because I was in Ireland at the time, and just hearing these amazing reports about you doing those kind of 15, 20 minute gigs. Yeah. And I love that whole idea. And I, the early singles were just, you know, fantastic for me. Especially, because, like, you know, punk was all very well with its kind of central rebellion. But where your songs have remained on, on edge, the pistols have become party pieces at weddings and stuff. Yeah. You know, where that was never punk, really. They just did the melody, where the Mary Chain was always that, uh, we mean it, there's a bit of feedback there a gig, thanks for paying in, off you go. Was that, so, was that kind of very much on purpose in the early days, just do the gig, couple of tracks? It was all kind of, at the time we kind of pretended we had some big kind of plan, but really we just, it was all instinctive and, and it was all magical, you know, the 20 minute gigs was because we would go to see other bands and get bored after 20 yeah. minutes, you know, a lot of the time, and um, we just thought, let's just... Let's just play for 20 minutes and just go off, you know, and, like, people will love this. And they kind of, like, kicked the tongue yeah. out of his. Yeah, because they were going, we've paid our money in and stuff. Well, yeah, and then, then after a while, it would be a bit of a joke. We'd play in Germany and it'd be, like, the Jesus and Mary chain 20 minute band it would say right. you know and then we'd play for an hour and a half by this time because it would lots of songs and we yeah. liked playing live <laughs> and then people would get really mad at us you know and say we'd sold it because we'd Doing long sets. Yeah. Yeah, because I saw you in the forum uh, a good while ago as well, yeah. but that was when you were doing the longer sets. And because I remember, uh, the thing that I remember most about that gig was, it was the first time I'd ever seen it where you had the backlit. So these huge kind of like like car headlight type lights were going into the audience where, you know, you could barely see. And mm. I kind of liked that as well. Um, you always did like different things before other people. Well, no, we kind of didn't like people you see us on stage. We always wanted to be a... A kind of, I don't know, just a mystery, you know, and and because we were shy, yeah. and because we didn't really talk to the audience, it just seemed to be just part of the the event, really, you know. Because uh, the the very early albums was you weren't doing much of the singing then, were you? No. And then just uh, eventually you kind of you took over more and more of the singing. Um, sometimes, sometimes I'd write a song and you know I I just know it was just for my voice. You know? Because you did all the writing, though, didn't you? I did a lot of the writing. Right. You know, Jim wrote a lot of songs. Because it's just, like, you know, obviously it's a personal thing, like, you know, the Mary Chain's no longer, and kind mm -hmm. of, like, it was always in the press, like, you two weren't getting on. But I just felt with the last album as well, like, he didn't sing that many songs on the album at all, did he? We sang our own songs. Right. He sang a bit. He sang his and I sang mine. But you had the, well, the most, yeah. Well, he sang some of mine as well. I've never sung what he has, you know, <laughs> the mean little get. Right. It's never let me near any of his songs. Because I just, I think I saw his around that time as well, and I kind of, uh, I kind of felt a little bit sorry for him because he was playing the tambourine a lot, you know, <laughs> and kind of going, mm, what am I doing here? Yeah, he's rubbish at it. Were you yeah. having a go at him by going, Jim, you play the tambourine for uh, the next four numbers? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> well, you're going to, we're going to play a track off the album, but you're going to sing, uh, you're going to do uh, one as well. You're, which one are you doing? I'm going to sing Complicated. All right, well, I'll leave you to it then. You want me to sing now? Oh, yes, please. Okay. <clears throat> Sisterhood sometime, yeah, 
I like that. Another rehearsed up. No, it's uh, no, it's kind of it, the weird thing is. It, but mind you, no, like I was going to say something, then take it back in my head because, uh, like, even with the lyrics in the early days, even though there's a lot of feedback going by, they're always kind of sweet uh, lyrics well, in the sense. There was always there was always tunes there as well, you know. But but also the the lyrics were never that hateful, like you know. Um. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. They weren't that depressing. I don't. People used to. People would always ask us, like, you know, why we're always depressed and miserable and. I'm usually quite a well, happy little chap. Also, I think probably one of the best lyrics ever, I want to die on a sunny day. Yeah. <laughs> you know? You know, what's so negative about that? But uh, uh, Complicated was, is kind of sweet, and obviously about the breakup of a, a relationship, and just, yeah. rather than kind of, you know, most people get, oh, I hate that person, you're going too bad, it got complicated. Yeah. Which, so do you think it's like you've really mellowed? Um, <clears throat> no, I don't think so. I think I've, uh, I think I'm mellow. Yeah, you know, but I sure, think I've yeah. always been mellow, and I, I think I was like the contradiction in the Mary chain. I always, I always felt like a pretty positive, you know, together guy. Yeah, and I think I, people used to say with obsession with death, but not really. You know, I mean, it's like it's, think about death a lot. I think you've got to, you know, you've got to sort of analyze the subject somehow. Yeah, if you're a songwriter, it comes in. But when you say like, I think you're right, other than rather than you have mellow, you are a mellow person. Yeah. But is there a kind of a seeping anger there as well? Then well, I think there is with everybody, isn't it? I think there's, there's, you know, I, I think I'm a pretty happy person, but you know, I've got my issues with the world, you know. But you know the way, like, there's kind of there's two ways of kind of that anger coming out, and with me, it totally implodes where I get self hatred and yeah. self doubt, and other people explode and smash things up. Like, uh, I, I get the impression you're an imploder as well. I get, yeah, I drink too much and, uh, and, and sit and watch TV and eat pizza. And See, no, no wonder you think of death if you're watching TV all the time, because yeah. Saturday night television used to depress me until I started to look at it from a different angle, and you realised that it was never meant for me. You know, that kind of star for a night and stuff, yeah. and rather than getting depressed, these people with their false hopes and trinkets and the blind day, you know... Idea of romance. I just kind of laugh at it now. Well, Darren, are you an imploder or an exploder? I think I'm an imploder. Yeah, I think most people. Uh, yeah, but I suppose like you two especially, you channel your stuff. I think maybe pe creative people that that the writers sort of tend to be imploders because I don't know. Doesn't that, isn't that what stops you going out and hitting people that you, you hit the guitar instead or something? Yeah, no. I think I think like are you looking forward to doing live stuff again, William? Um, yeah, I'm I'm relishing the idea that. Um, I want to go and play me and my guitar, you know. Is it just going to be you, yeah? For a while it is, yeah. I'm looking for a band to put together, but, you know, that's going to take a while. But in the meantime, I'm playing at um, 
Sure. We'll, we'll find out. No, no, we don't worry. Uh, we'll, we'll find out. What we'll do is we'll play a track off the album, uh, God. Um, no, are, are you, are you're not going to bring any singles out here? Yeah? Right. Um, mm, there was a single. This one was a single. God was. Yeah. Oh, we never got a service <laughs> here at GLR. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Somebody As, did. Yeah, probably gave it to the charge show, William. Not, not to us weekenders. So, now, I should point out as well, uh, so, now, is the album called uh, Finn Begin? Yeah. Because it says cabbage on the front as well. No, that's Francis Bacon's head. Right. But there, there is the word cabbage written down as yeah. well. Yeah, But that's not the story. <laughs> no, not I just even. want to be clear, and, um, the, uh, now the, the band, even though it's, it's rightly yourself, is Lazy Came. Yeah. For anyone who, who wants to buy it rather than asking for William Reed, this is, uh, God, which was a single, which, uh, I never got.
that. Uh, God there from uh, Lazy Game, William uh, Ray. Uh, the thing I liked about the uh, album in general was it was formless. Was that on purpose? Um, yeah. People have said, some of the bad reviews uh, have said it's like, it sounds half finished. But I, I cannot, I know what they mean, but it's not half finished. I know, but I think that's a little insulting as well because, like, it's very I, insulting. I thought we were sick of the boy band doing their three minute, you know, go to the bridge chorus, back to the bridge, you know, and for anyone even to be doing something, you know, new, I yeah. think it should be applauded rather than going unfinished. Well, I've tried to make it, even though it's a pretty mellow LP, I tried to uh, leave a lot of the rough edges and yeah. I, I like that, you know. Well, yeah, because, uh, like, down. You know, because it's interesting, like, because you, you're not so much where you go for the polish thing, but you do go for the more kind of, uh... Um, it's just def- I know what you mean, it's nothing more boring than a finished song. I mean, I think we, I'd like to think we do that as well, but yeah. certainly, yeah, we, we, we tidy up a few edges. But, uh, yeah, because, like, it's kind of, uh, like, sometimes people... I think where, where people might think that, William, is because sometimes bands on B-sides, you know, do that kind of stuff yeah. and go, oh, here you go. But, like, you know, it's like anyone who's... Like, how long did it, uh, did you work on this album for? Um, on and off for about a year or so. So was it pretty much any time you were in the mood, pick up the guitar and start? Yeah, it was kind of like in between tours and stuff. It was the last year in the Mary Chain I, I recorded this. So, I, was it, it was your decision for the split, yeah? Um, it was kind of long overdue, really, you know? Did it not happen in the middle of a gig in America? I happened at, I happened at Jesus Mary Chain convention <laughs> at the House of Blues in Los Angeles. Well, that's the best time to do it at a convention. Oh, by the way, we're no longer. Is that like those Star Wars convention things? Like? It was kind of like that, yeah. <laughs> Did you get people coming up with hairstyles like yourself and stuff? <laughs> yeah, but it was, um, it was, it was kind of like, hurt. It's kind of how it should have been, really, you know, in a, a drunken blaze of, uh... Say the word, glory! The opposite right. of glory I was looking for, you know? Yeah, what is the opposite of glory? I don't know. Um, oh, it's lost me. But, um, but was it mid-song? It was, yeah, kind of like halfway during the first song. I felt really bad, because it was a, a, a convention. Right. It was people came from Japan and Australia. Oh, and but even then, I think they they would like to have been there. Oh, sure, yeah. You well, know. maybe you did twenty minutes, so maybe it was. We never even done twenty minutes. It was about two and a half minutes. Oh, so what? Probably, probably loved. You were in the first song. Yeah. And what 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 was the song? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> but uh, me and Jim had a fight, and and what a fisticuffs fight like? No, no, on stage, but backstage we kind of like. <laughs> Mm. scuffled each other, but... You but, know. like, being brothers, like, you know, has it always been like that, even growing up, you're always just fighting and loving each yeah, other and fighting? Yeah, you, you know it's like when brothers fight, yeah. you, don't, you don't hit each other, you, you, you can't... Yeah. You kind of... The, the fighting style stunted at sort of ten-year-old, you know? Sure, yeah. <laughs> But it's good, you know, and, and... And we hated each other for, like, a couple of months. But then he was best man at my wedding, you know? Right, yeah. Summer. I mean, so you're, you're mates again now, yeah? Yeah, yeah, of course. But so he'll, he'll be at the gig. Oh, we'll point out uh, February the 29th at 12 bar. Will yeah. Jim be there supporting you? Jim will be there, yeah. So, um, so you were two and a half minutes into this song. Yeah. And you're looking at your brother going, I hate him, I hate him. And then you just Well, went, I was kind of like, with a big fight because I was drunk the night before. So, like, he kind of got drunk that night. <laughs> but he... Tit for tat drinking, I love it. Yeah, but it was the sort of drinking where he couldn't stand up. Right. You know, that kind of yeah, drink. Yeah. And I just got kind of... I fronted at his cheek, actually, having, like, given me a dressing during the night before, and then a, a fight started, or a kind of silly little scuffle. Right. And then he walked off, I walked off, and that was it. So he walked off first, yeah? I, I, don't, I don't think he, he knew he was on stage. <laughs> <laughs> but did you, did you make an announcement, or did you just walk off? We just walked off. See, no, see that's, that's so much more kind of uh, probably than the pistols where, you know, yeah. Johnny kind of going, do you ever get the feeling you've been cheated? It's, it, it's actually, much better just going, oh, we're off. Actually, You're not even saying we're off. If any of the guys from my band are listening, I, I want to... That's the way I want our band to go, actually. So when when you're unhappy, don't tell me, guys. Just death just me. go. And then, um, but the the only problem I take it was uh, the rest of the band was were still on stage jamming, were they? Yeah, kind of confused. <laughs> so how long did they stay on stage? <laughs> they were waiting for you to come back on. Yeah, probably about five minutes, or so <laughs> five or ten minutes before they realised that you know nothing was going to happen, and um, and then they made an announcement, and that was it. And. And then did you kind of go straight back to uh, England, or did you stay in America? I went to Seattle, where my my 
girlfriend is now my wife left. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. She's she's there. She's but she's going to be dropping her baby any. Anyway. See, I told you, it's all <laughs> pregnant women in this show. I don't know what it is. We we have it. We just uh, so um, when when's the baby? Three days. It was June. Uh, three days ago. Right. How do you know that? It just came up. I'm not. <laughs> and I can't tell from your face. <laughs> um, so uh, well, and do you know if it's a boy or a girl? Yeah, I think it's a boy. So it'll be the Ouija's marriage, then. Yeah. Starting off again. I don't know if it's a boy. We saw the scan and there was a there was a. Thing there, he yeah. was hung, but it could have been the belly go car. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll be on tender hooks for that. Uh, uh, William, thanks very much for coming. As I said, uh, the 29th, February yeah. 12, but which is a nice, intimate uh, venue as well. Yeah, brilliant. So, well, try well. and make it down for that. Uh, good luck with the uh, thing again. Uh, is don't d when you see cabbage written on the front, pay no attention to that. It's uh, it's film again by Lazy Cam. We'll we'll do the news. Uh, Darren, thank you very much for coming in. Thank Hefner, you. a new single, a uh, new EP out at the moment, Revelations. Yeah, super stuff. Uh, here's uh, the lovely Jason.